everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys my review and that of one of the new ambient lighting primers that came out from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Light Correcting Primer in the shade Luminous Light. They came out with a total of three primers. I picked up Luminous Light. They also have Mood Light and Dim Light and they come in a package like this. Typical brown, goldish um, Hourglass packaging, really sleek and classy and cute. And then this is a squeezy tube bottle that you just squeeze out on your hand and you know put the primer on your face so I picked up the shade luminous light because this one pulled a little bit more of like a neutral champagne undertone that I thought would match my skin tone mood lights a little bit more pink and dim light is a little bit more golden so let me read you a little bit off Sephora's website of what they say that this product does for you now this does retail for $44 and you get a total of one fluid ounce which is pretty standard and you can buy it at Sephora or you can buy it at Hourglass website as well I believe. So it says it's a light correcting primer to blur, smooth and perfect the skin for a soft subtle glow. Ambient light correcting primers infused with light correcting pigments that act as a first filter to neutralize, brighten and soften light. They blur imperfections and smooth skin's texture for flawless makeup application. This allows the primer to create a better starting point for makeup or simply be worn alone. Unlike other primers, the oil-free, weightless formula instantly absorbs into the skin, imparting a natural-looking glow without feeling wet or greasy. It's designed to future... It's designed to further enhance the lighting effects of the ambient lighting collection by creating the first layer of light. So I do have it on my face today. I will go ahead right now and insert some photos that I did, which they I filmed them earlier today in natural light for you guys. I thought that would be better. So you'll see me in a different location. But I filmed um, my face without any makeup or any primer on. Then I'll show next to it my um, bare face with the primer on so you can see a difference. Um, so I did pick up the shade Luminous Light, which does kind of pull that champagne undertone and matches my skin tone perfectly. And it really does, when you put it on, I hope you can see how it really blurs and just oh my gosh it smooths out the skin it looks amazing it's not something that's gonna make you look dewy it's not something that's like a Becca backlight filtering primer it's not like the Kevin Aquan one where you can mix it with your foundation it's nothing like that it's just a really really nice makeup primer that's gonna prolong the wear of your makeup and it's gonna keep you very very smooth and flawless throughout the day and then as an added bonus it does have a little bit of a luminous sheen to it to enhance like your natural glow and so I find that it gives you a very very subtle glow where it's kind of like a candlelight like lit from within like it's your skin but a little bit better kind of look so I really like that it's not quite as like sparkly and dewy as some of those other primers this one is really focused on prolonging the wear of your makeup and then adding a little touch of luminosity at the same time so I do have it on right now as I showed you those clips it's still on it's been on I don't know like six or seven hours already I have the foundation on top and then I did go in and set everything with my um a full size of the ambient lighting powder diffuse light and I think the combination of both is great I think this is something you could also wear alone as like a base and just like a nice you could go in with a nice moisturizer and then go in with this as like a no makeup look and just blur and all your imperfections and then have just a nice little sheen to it and then you could set it with a powder if you wanted specifically the ambient lighting powders and then you would just be perfect that'd be perfect for a no makeup look with some mascara and a nice lip and a that would look beautiful like it really does blur imperfections and it what I love about it the most is how it smooths everything out it just gives you a nice clean canvas to work with so I find that that, like my makeup lasts so much longer throughout the day because everything stays in place and it stays smooth there's no dry patches there's nothing kinking up there's nothing like being blotchy it just really does stay smooth so I'm super impressed by this let me go ahead and show you guys on my hand what it looks like I'll zoom you up close so you can get a good idea but this is what it looks like on my hand really pretty you can see how it matches my skin tone very well and then when you start to um, blend it out you can see how it really does smooth out the skin and just gives you like ever so slightly a sheen if you guys can see hopefully you can I'll show you my other hand next to it but you can see how it just kind of looks better than it did before if you can tell the difference between these two this one looks blurred and per you know almost perfect whereas this one you can see kind of just how my skin's not smooth and you can see my veins coming through and this one right here the one with the primer has like a little bit of luminosity to it so I really like it I think it gives you a really nice subtle glow from within 
and it really just does enhance like your best features already. So another thing that I really love about this is it does not feel wet or greasy at all like it says. It actually just really dries into the skin really quickly. Now if you do have combo to oily skin you're going to love this. It's very fast drying. It doesn't feel slick and oily in your skin. It feels really nice. Now if you have normal to dry skin you could still use this. I think you would benefit from it but you definitely have to go in with either a really really good moisturizer or another hydrating primer that's not so much for prolonging the wear of mas or, I was gonna say mascara makeup but it's there to actually just keep your skin hydrated throughout the day I think you have to go in with one of those first and then go in with this on top and you would be perfectly fine but this is seriously ideal and perfect for people with combo to oily skin you're gonna love it it dries so fast and it just blurs everything and makes it look perfect nothing on your hands even feels greasy like my hands feel really soft and velvety now now that I've touched that and blended it, blended it into my hand it just feels really nice so I am really enjoying this $44 does seem like a lot but most of our glasses products are actually on the higher end to begin with so it's pretty much in the range of what I would expect from hourglass I do think it's a beautiful beautiful wonderful primer does everything that it says lives up to the expectation so I really do think yes it's on the most expensive side but I do think it's worth the money and it's really really wonderful um, let me know if you guys want a comparison video to like the Becca backlight priming filters or like the Kevin and Kwan celestial light um, primer those are also kind of very similar to this the concept where it's like a glow from within let me know if you guys would be interested I do have both those products and could do a comparison video or like a battle of the um, correcting primers per se if you guys want to so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this product if you've picked it up and tried it um, like I said they do have three different shades that I think are gonna work really well with a lot of people's skin tones this one is perfect if you have fair skin so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my upcoming videos and I will see you guys very soon bye